Honey? Yeah. You okay? I am. I was just thinking about a dream I had last night. Oh, okay. You know how I have the challenge of getting to 100,000 subscribers? Yeah. It's my New Year's resolution. I want to get there by my birthday to the 100,000 subscribers. Good luck with that. My dream, we made it. In your dream? Yes. It's probably about the only way it's going to happen, sweetheart. Sorry. <laughs> no, people went back and watched my video on what it means to subscribe, and they found out that it's free. doesn't cost anything. only takes a second. It's true. And it's the best way to show that they like a YouTube channel. It's all true. It is true. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the button. Hey. Hey, hi. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello. That's brutal. Just, just two patriotic girls. So please don't take us the wrong way. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. We are here and it is Monday. Yeah, we're late. Surprise. We're sorry. Surprise. <laughs> we're a day late. Surprise. <laughs> but we made it. And that's what counts is that we're all here together. But we're still sorry but we're late. <laughs> <laughs> we are. But we have a super fun video to do today. We do. But before we get there, if you like today's video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Why is that, Debbie? Because we need to get to a goal of 100,000 people <laughs> by my birthday. Help her, please. <laughs> It would be lovely if you would consider doing it. March 21st is your birthday. March 21st. Okay. That's a big, big task. Big challenge. It is, but I know we can get there. I don't think so. We can. <laughs> I hope so. Anyway, today we're going to go on a luxury overnight sleeper train from Scotland to England. On the Caledonian. Thank you for saying that word because I was going to mess it up. No, you weren't. <laughs> no, I was scared to. It's a fun word to say. Caledonian. Yeah, we thought it would be interesting to start looking at some different um, types of transportation and different ways to get to different places in the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, we've already done the canal boat video in Wales, which I have decided I'm a canal boat person. She is, but I'm considering the train thing. I want to see what this this part's all about. What? I mean, we've done all of our, we're doing our traveling stuff. So you're saying you stuff? might be a train person and not a canal boat person. I could be. I don't know. I need to find out what the train ride's all about. I've never okay. been on a real train. I haven't either. Um, that's the thing about living in, not in New York City or yeah. a large, large city is um, we don't have a lot of the trains like that. And so mm -hmm. we've never been on one, but we wanted to see what a luxury overnight sleeper was. What's this Caledonian thing? How's this work? Are they going to show, show different parts of the cab in the train? We have no idea. All right. So let's find out. Are we canal boat people so far? Or are we train people? And then there's other things we can look at in the future that we may be neither. I mean, I still think I'm a canal boat person. Yeah, there may be other options. So let's dig in today and go on to the luxury overnight sleeper train from Scotland to England, the Caledonian. Today, I'm taking the famous Caledonian sleeper train in the best first class cabin from the highlands first of class. Scotland yes. all the way down to London. This trip will take over 12 hours and you'll be joining me every step of the way. From trying traditional Scottish cuisine in the dining car, yes that means haggis and black pudding, to relaxing in my double sleeper cabin which even has its own ensuite shower. Let's pick up my journey in sunny Inverness on a mild spring evening to Let's. embark on this epic journey. Well, hello there and good evening from Scotland. And we're going to be taking today the Caledonian sleeper service all the way over to London Houston Station. But given I flew up this afternoon, I'm early. And with the lounge closed for uh, staffing reasons mm. and not wanting to loiter around the station for a couple of hours, I'm going to head to the pub. I feel a delicious Scottish pint is in order. <laughs> as one does. I have the same hoodie as him, just mine's black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, well that was a wonderful place to go and kill a bit of time, but now it is time to go and actually get on board. I'm told you can board around 45 minutes before departure, so yeah. given that that is exactly what the case is now, let's go and check it out. Yeah, I just realized something. With all the stuff that we want to do when we get to the UK and all the places we want to go, yeah, we got to hit that lottery before we yeah, show up. Be, so We'll be gone for a while. Yeah, if everyone keeps asking, when do you guys come to the UK? When we hit the lottery. <laughs> That's the official answer now uh, because we're doing all this stuff and <laughs> we're just going to have to move over. 
So we will have someone to. make room for us. Now, as you may know from following the channel, quite often I will go to some pretty amazing stations around the world. Uh, I cannot say the same about Inverness Station. Aww. Aww. I'm sure there's reasons why. But that's not the point today. It's about the sleeper train experience, which I feel might be among the very best that I've tried to date. I'm not going to make the same mistake that I did back in Helsinki, where I thought I had to go and collect my ticket. Today, I've got it digitally available, just here, all ready to go. Perfect. So with that said, head through the barriers, go get on board. That is a cool looking train, dude. Isn't that cool? Is that carpet? Yeah, wow. Okay, yeah, we don't know trains. This, this is, is like a very nice and thin world. Very narrow hallways. Welcome to my double sleeper room. Um, obviously just for myself this evening. Huh. The first impressions are very good. We'll have a look at everything in just a moment. Let's just get settled in. There are actually only three double rooms available on the entire train. Okay. The rest is made up of bunk beds, the dining car, and of course, economy seating. So the, one of the things I've got in my cabin is this, which is a key card. Now you need to set it up when you first get in. Let me show you. Apparently I'll tap it twice. And it's locked. Those things never worked the first time, did they? Oh, he was locking it. So what it now means is that my stuff's safe in there, so I can lock it knowing okay. no one else is going to go in my room. It's like a tool room. Mm -hmm. Let's go and grab some dinner. I'm very impressed so far. I mean, this looks so like modern yeah. and sleek. I know. Clean. The outside of the train looks so cool. And having a huge double bed, I mean, that's... I don't know why I got so surprised about carpet. Sorry. <laughs> like, I just... A train. I mean, we have those old cars that come by here now. And then and, um, they don't have carpet. So. No. <laughs> this is neat though. Well, let's see what else goes on here. The Caledonian boasts this fantastic dining car, nice. accessible by the whole train, but prioritized for the sleeper rooms. It's well laid oh, okay. out to accommodate both solo travelers and couples, but it was quiet this evening, so I'm offered a booth. Okay then, let's take a look at the menu. Ooh, now this I'm both impressed with, but also disappointed in, and I'll explain why. Hmm. There's a solid selection of food, focused of Hang on. Holy it's freaking free. expensiveness. And, and remember, it's cheese. more in dollars than it is there. Dang. Is here chicken? Yeah. Mac and cheese, seven pounds. Does it come with little gold flakes on top? <laughs> <laughs> the cheese is made from gold. Let me rewind that just a hair. So disappointed in, and I'll That's explain this why. There's a solid selection of food, focused, of course, around Scottish cuisine. It is, however, not included in my frankly abhorrently priced room. More oh. on this in a minute. Okay. As I place my order, as if by cue, we depart Inverness Station, bound for London. This, to me, comes heaped with excitement and anticipation of what is to come on our journey. Mm -hmm. So, what did I order? I'm going for a personal Scottish favourite, haggis. To those it. vegetarians, look away now. I'm sure many Scots will agree with me. Haggis tastes wonderful, yep. but when you know what it is, it may change yep. your enjoyment. Yeah. To follow my main, I went for another Scottish favourite, whiskey. And yes, I know already you're going to hate on me for having it with ice. It's just the way I like it. You do, this you went down beautifully, <laughs> but to compliment, I thought I'd indulge in the rich milk chocolate tort, idyllic. Yeah, What's like not idyllic mm -hmm. is the near £30 cost, but we move on. Holy crap! Yeah. But isn't that kind of yeah. common though? Like whenever you're going any place luxury, unless yeah. you are getting like an all expense paid trip. Thing. Yeah, it would out, uh, absolutely cost a bit more than what you would typically pay anywhere else, yeah. or what would you what you would pay in a very nice restaurant. Right. I mean, if you're getting on yeah. something luxury, that word in there, you should know that they're going to charge you those luxury prices. They sure are. Um, it would be nice if it was included, like you said. He hasn't said what his room has cost yet, so hopefully he will. Yeah, hopefully um, he tells us that. But yeah, we'll find out. As we head back to my sleeper car, I have to say, I really enjoyed that. Yes, of course, you had to spend the additional money on it, but it was just a really, really tasty meal. You bring your own snacks too, though, I'm just saying, right? At least it was tasty. <laughs> that price, it should be. 
Now one thing I'm just doing, I don't know quite know what I'm doing with my sink, but I don't really know what else there is to do in here, is filling out my breakfast selection. Excuse by the way, the um, the noise, of course we are on You're the train. train. Um, but basically what you do is you fill out what your options are, and then you hang it outside your room. However, the issue is, I didn't notice that I had to do this, and it's meant to be outside your door of your room within 30 minutes of boarding. Now of course we're an hour into the journey. So let's see if I get my breakfast or not. And just before we take a look, now I had was curious about this, like how loud is it going to be? And yeah, I did not. notice he was closed in that bathroom. You can hear a little bit of rat rattling. Yeah, and I'm sure he uh, edited out the background noise. Yeah, so I am curious about how loud that. Yeah, was. anybody that's using trains, you know, for transportation, let us know. Like this type of train, you know, yeah. the ones that you know you're going from long journeys. Um, yeah, I should have just ask my friends who were just there, actually in London, that went from London to Scotland. <laughs> Didn't think to. We're an hour into the journey, so let's see good, if I get my breakfast then. or not. I think it's time to have a proper look around this room and see what you get in a double room on a train. This really is a unique sleeper product. Most around the world are just single beds, or indeed okay. bunks. For example, my recent trip on a Thai train through the jungle. Spoiler, you know this is coming too? soon. Yeah. Back in Scotland and my double room, it really does feel a world apart to the competition. Mm. Well, heck yeah. Luxuries such as multiple USB charging ports, nice. fully adjustable air conditioning, nice. mineral water, and a whole host of complimentary goodies left on my bed. Oh, the door just opened. <laughs> cool. There is a hidden desk that comes out here oh, that's cool. I think is a great touch and obviously you've got to sit here to kind of use it I would imagine in a room this small and yeah. any of the rooms that they would have all kinds of cool things like this desk I mean that's really neat you know I so so far I'm still a canal boat person <laughs> you I'm undecided <gasps> what are you let us know but still it's half decent so you've got your uh, rubbish bin or trash bin to my American friends some towels which we'll be using shortly and of course the uh, the sink here mine this detritus so that's my from my dinner the train got pretty nice. noisy here so i'll oh. voice this bit over there you go i'm overall very impressed and can't wait to try out the luxury mattress and hotel quality egyptian cotton bedding. i'm curious about that mattress I did, however, get the shock of my life when a train pulled up alongside and I was exposed to the Glasgow commuter service. Thankfully, I was decent. Nuh uh. <laughs> oh, that would be bad. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a bit of, bit of a shock, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah. The whole would crap. Be a definite shocker. They should tell you, close your window. Yeah, seeing that we're nudists and all, that'd be a problem. I'm that kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. <laughs> we'll see if she lets me keep that inner thing sad or not. <laughs> Shortly thereafter, the train seems to stop for a prolonged period. Let's go and investigate. I would too. So, welcome to Perth. I'm mean, obviously still awesome. in Scotland. Before I just get a little bit of fresh air and stretch the legs. See, I don't know how long we're stopped here for. I would imagine, very briefly, and I'm not going too far off the train. I think they tell you. Because I do not want to get left yeah. in Perth. And it's not the sunny one either, is it? Let's get back on. I make it bedtime. So, the door's open again, dude. What's the deal with bedtime on the Caledonian sleeper train? Um, obviously, they don't provide pajamas because it's bad for crazy for them to do so. That's not quite first class on the plane. So I thought I'd bring my own. There is, however, a few things that they do provide. I've got a journey of a nighttime sleep kit. So that's earplugs and an eye mask and some nice. body wash. So that'll be what we'll use when I have a shower in the morning. And then there's this. That. Which includes this I thought was a really good touch. The amenity kit provides full size bath amenities for you to take home with you. Anyway, let me go and get changed. Are we watching him shower? <laughs> Where are we going with this? <laughs> Welcome to my that doesn't shut very well. Welcome to my tiny little bathroom. Um yeah. Anyway. Let's change into these. Well, okay. I got uncomfortable for a minute. <laughs> well, here we go. Now these into my PJs. Perfect. 
And also, I have only just realised, I've still got my Tims on. Let's boot those off. <laughs> After unknowingly obstructing an area with my Tims, let's utilise that in-room sink, boarding school vibes here, and hop into bed. Boarding this school vibes. is the ultimate test of a sleeper train. I need to know what's the mattress. Good nights. Definitely have to make sure you close that blind. <laughs> yeah, that, that, like, that one, mm -hmm. that'd be a Very problem. Important. Sleep. Let's do my favorite part of my job and sleep. How's the mattress, man? Need to know. The next day. <laughs> SpongeBob. I don't like the weed in there. Oh, Good morning. I guess the question is, how did I sleep? Um, I slept well, but you have to remember, I went to bed at probably midnight, and it's just after 6 a.m. now. I had a wake up call. I mean, the bed is, is comfortable, but the railways in the UK are very different to the railways in Europe. They're a lot bumpier. So with that said, it's time no. to get up and see what the day has in store for us. Interesting. So those of you who have commuted on train or do so, do you find that to be true if you've been to Europe as on other trains mm -hmm. as well? That, like he's saying, they are much more bumpy in the yeah. United Kingdom. Um, Unlike you, I would have a hard time with that sleeping. You could sleep standing up. I could. <laughs> she can. And it might be nice to have that general rocking. You would like and that. And actually the little noise. I could probably even find that comforting. Yeah, and I'm like the spoiled. I'm like Princess of the Pea over here. It's like having a fan <laughs> on, you know? You get used to it. Oh, like, oh no. It's comforting. No. Let's see what it's like outside. Yeah, I want to see. Beautiful. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Oh, that house. I want that house. <laughs> that is stunning, you guys. As we wind through the English countryside and before I grab some breakfast, I think it's time to try out my shower. You've seen already- Before you try our shower, just want to say this. <laughs> this is why I'm going to remain a canal boat person, narrow boat, whatever you want to call it, because the difference here is why. On that train, you can't stop mm -hmm. and get out and look at all this beauty. Yeah. On the boat, you can. Yes. You can moor it on up. <laughs> yep. And you can go walk around and Take look at things. Take a little more time. Yes, and that's why yeah. I'm going to be the canal boat person. You are the, you're your own captain, right? You can you stop are? when you want to. You don't have to mm -hmm. worry about those things. So that's my personal reason. I can understand that. Mm -hmm. did, I, did I win you over back over to the canal boat side? I, I, Not yet. I would probably do both. <laughs> Maybe on sweet bathroom. I would do both. Did you know it's also a shower? We do. Well, here we go. Here goes nothing. Um, I think first of all, I actually need to get out of this, so... Uh... Okay. Hello, sir. <laughs> Unlike a lot of the reviews I read online, thankfully my shower has hot water. But as you've seen, it splutters the water out, yeah. which isn't the most enjoyable. Yeah. It's a train though, it's feeling cool. somewhat fresher. Let's get my clothes back on. Oh, and not forgetting those Tims, of course. I, I don't, don't care about so cool. you, but I am starved. Let's go and get some breakfast. Did you get breakfast though? I still think it's cool. The well. moment of truth. It is. Do I break the order go through, or will I be hungry? It's worth mentioning that unlike dinner, breakfast is included in your ticket price. I'm relieved to find that my order did indeed go through, and I'm promptly served a fresh coffee. Sadly, no espresso machine in sight, so just a filter coffee, but I'm used to these on the airlines. It's hard to beat getting like your that? morning caffeine hit whilst watching the world go by like this. Is that breakfast? Just coffee? It's not long before my order is here. Okay, I sorry. went for the Scottish breakfast, which includes another delicacy, black pudding. In case you're not familiar, here's what black pudding is. I'm not really a fan of it, if I'm perfectly honest. Why did you get it? <laughs> what was with the tomato there? I think mean, it's time to go and check out the rest of the train. That's right, it's yeah. time to take a look yeah, at the sure. Laid out in nice. a one-two config. I can't say I'd rush to spend mm -hmm. the night in here. For a four to five hour trip during the day though, I think this would be more than comfortable. There's Fire. ample leg room, complete with an adjustable footrest. There's a USB and power outlet. And of course, a tray table. Let me know down below, could you do an overnight here? No, not, time for not on the seats, no. Absolutely not, I need a bed. You couldn't? You know I can't sleep sitting up. <laughs> no way. 
I could do it. Oh, I know you could. Definitely. Again, you could do it sitting on the top of the train. I'd be just like those people in there. You lift up the little yeah. armrest. Lay it over. Lay over. You're done. And then she'd be like, my neck. <laughs> or just lean against the window. You know what I would do, right? I'd be up the entire night. Yeah. I'd probably be looking out the window too most of the time until I fall asleep. Exactly. <laughs> the loo review. Let's check it out. The communal loo is clean yet utilitarian, not too dissimilar to an airline lav. Yeah. Certainly mm -hmm. above That's average inside. for a train though. Anyway, with that, let's totter back to my cabin. I mean, it's time to get my bags packed. Though. London is calling. I spend the last 20 minutes or so looking out the window, watching the big smoke draw closer and closer. That's cool. Right, so there we have it. Welcome to London Euston Station. Goodbye, Caledonian Double. And hello, Euston Station. Caledonian sleep. Well, there we go then. Welcome to London. Thank you so much for coming along on this epic adventure across almost the entire length of the United Kingdom. It was really interesting to experience the Caledonian Sleeper and I hope you've enjoyed the experience with me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all again next week. In a closing note, I thought I'd also mention the cost here. Thank you. It was a lot. Giving okay. dinner is not inclusive. For solo use of the room, it set me back £405, which is roughly $530. Anyway, okay. thanks once again, and do let me know. So I have to say about the price, that was more than I expected, um, especially since it's just a one day, 12 hour trip. Yeah. Um, that's, I, I'm definitely a canal boat person. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't pay that for that. No, that's a bit much to pay for yeah. sleeping most of the time. Yeah, five hundred thirty some dollars for yeah. us. Um, no, no, no. Um, but I would do that, but not for that price. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would absolutely do that. I think that'd be fun. I think that'd be great. It looks comfortable. Um, I, I like the idea of just going, being able to go and like eat there too. I like all the cool things you can yeah, do while it's moving. It's just neat. Super cool, but just a little bit too expensive. I wonder how much the coach costs compared to yeah, the sleeper I, I, compartment. Would have been nice to have seen some prices, but I, I did appreciate seeing the, the room, all the amenities included, mm -hmm. um, seeing the other parts of the train. This is what I wanted and hoping to yeah. get out of the video, you? Yes, it is. I am so glad that we watched this and got more information yeah. on it. Um, I still would do it. Just not oh, yeah, price. do it. Let us know your thoughts too, guys. Would you do it? Have you done it? Ooh, let us know if you've done it. Was it worth it? Mm. Um, Good before we go on, if you did like today's video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel to make Debbie's dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, um, I, I like looking at different ways of transportation. Again, not all Americans are like us. They have been on trains. Um, this is true. We just have not. Um, we live in a city where it's all cars. <laughs> it's just foreign for us because we've never done it. Uh, and uh, I think it's fascinating and I would love to try that. But I, I think going through the UK on a canal boat, narrow boat, um, I'm not sure what term is used the most, um, would that, be just much more scenic, much more relaxing. Very much so. In the summertime, <laughs> not in the wintertime. True. We need to have the good weather to go with. Yeah. That was fun for us to take a look at that for the first time, um, one of the trains um, in the UK and um, definitely the sleeper train on my list, but I ain't paying mm -hmm. that price. <laughs> Maybe there's a cheaper time. Right. I don't know. Let us know if there is. Thank you guys so much for watching today. We hope you enjoyed it. We sure do. And remember to always love like Jess. Be as strong as Tyson. See you guys on Wednesday. Thank you. Bye. Bye.